Hi everyone, in today's video I am going to review this architectural layout plan and I am going to tell you what is not working in this layout plan and how we design this space. So let's start. The client approached me to do the interior work of this area. Being an architect and interior designer, I realized the layout was not working. Although the plot size was very small, it was somewhere around 22 feet by 38 feet, but every space, no matter how big or the small the space is, it demands to get a better layout. So I discussed the same with my client and I told them that there are few architectural mistakes that needs to be fixed before starting the interior work and they were okay. So I created layout plan options for them. The client major requirement was to have a staircase in this area because they wanted to have a makeup studio at the lower level. Second requirement was to have two bedrooms, one with attached toilet, one the common washroom, one storeroom and one good kitchen. So keeping the requirements in our mind, we designed this space for them. First, let's see what is not working in this layout. This is a bedroom. It's not ventilated. This is a washroom. It's not ventilated. This is a washroom. It's not ventilated and we cannot see any ventilation in the staircase. This is your road and your building is facing towards this. This was the first option that we created. In this, we kept our staircase here, keeping the requirement in mind. This was the column, it was already casted on the side, so we could not do anything about it. This was one big size bedroom, 16 feet by 10 feet, 3 inches. This was another bedroom. These were the toilets. You can keep it attached for both the rooms or you can keep it open from here and one could be connected from here. Once you enter, you get to see a drawing hall. This is your kitchen. This is the ventilation shaft for the kitchen and this was the storeroom connected to the bedroom that the client wanted. So this was the basic layout. Now let's see what is not working in this layout. Although this layout was fine, but what is happening? Once you enter, it's always good if you get a well ventilated area because a natural light always magnifies the space. It would have been better if your drawing dining hall had a huge window. So it was not working in this layout, although the bedroom sizes were decent. Now this was another option that we created. In this, once you enter, you get to see your drawing dining hall. This is your drawing dining hall. This is your bedroom one and this is your bedroom two. Although the size of the bedrooms here is slightly smaller than the option one, but your drawing dining space area is well ventilated. And also you have a proper TV zone here. Like you cannot see the similar thing in the option one. This is the ventilation shaft for the toilet. This is another ventilation shaft. Although the sizes is not decent, give them minimum three feet if it is possible. But because of the space crunch, we cannot do anything about it. And above this was the terrace, so it could work. This is the kitchen in the southeast direction. As per Vastu, we could have placed our toilet here. It would have been a better option. Ventilation would have been better in this space. But this was the northeast area, so we cannot design a toilet here. So among these two options, our client finalized this. So I created a proper furniture layout plan according to which the windows and doors location will be finalized. So let's see that. So this is the final furniture layout plan that we created. Now you have your sofa here. This is your TV and to elongate this wall we have created hidden doors for both storeroom and the toilet. Now in your bedrooms you have your wardrobe here flushed with the wall and this is your proper bed with dressing area. This is the ventilation shaft. This is the toilet which is connected with the bedroom and this is the common toilet. This is your kitchen and your window is here. This is your washing machine area. So your drawing room has a proper balcony and your bedroom has separate balcony. This is the wardrobe for this space. In this case, we could have placed our bed like this and a circulation would have been better for the toilet. But what is not working in this layout is your either you sacrifice your window or you sacrifice the bed headboard that is why we placed our bed like this so this was the final layout that we created for our client and our client really loved it that's all for today's video let me know in the comment section how you find the layout also if you have some questions i would love to ask thank you so much for watching and you'll see our next video soon bye